Hi guys, it's Carissa. I always get all hot dog skin on my chest before I film a video, and sometimes I put makeup on it, but it just, oh, it just made it so much worse. I am not one of those self-proclaimed fall lovers. I know that there are girls who would, you know, the second you bring up that it's fall, they're, oh, I love boots, and I love pumpkins, I don't know, you know what I mean? I'm not like that, but I'm finding myself kind of creeping into that, and I'm just gonna embrace it. So I will try and put all the product information below. If you have questions on stuff, or if I don't adequately explain it, then that's just how this is gonna go. First, I'm gonna do my jacket, because then I can just sit down. <laughs> That's so lazy. I'm gonna do my jacket first. Okay, so every single year I'm looking for a jacket and I usually just settle for something that I hate or I don't have one at all and I just have to wear like sloppy hoodies and stuff or like unseasonably start wearing winter jackets early. This year I found one and I'm just so in love with it. I hope that it takes a while for it to get super cold so that I can get a lot of use out of it. This is from Avenue. It is a size 1820 and I have no idea what you would consider this material but get in good and close on that it's kind of I don't know I don't know I'm not into textiles it is apparent to me that motorcycle style jackets are very popular this year. Look, I'm talking too much already. All right, let me just show you the jacket. It has, so it has like a mandarin collar for that motorcycle style and it's ruched in the front and gathered on the sides. And then it has zipper detail on the sleeves, which is a little bit annoying, but it's cute. There is something about fall and also just lately that makes me want to wear really delicate gold jewelry. It's not normally my style. These are both earrings by Lauren Conrad. I picked these up at Kohl's. This is just a really lacy kind of bib shaped earring. And then there's this one that reminds me of something my grandmother would have worn, which is a little dangly pearl with a tiny little leaf. This is my new obsession. I smelled this and I thought it was perfect. It's very like clean and a little bit sexy and very simple and understated, which is something that I really love in a shower gel. <laughs> um, for somebody to have that specific a feeling about shower gel, I don't, I don't know. But this is by The Body Shop and this is the Wild Argan Oil Shower Gel. I know that the way I described it may have kind of oversold it a little bit, and I haven't had it that long, but it goes a long way. I don't, I don't know. I don't use a lot of shower gel, so I don't buy them very often because I'm forever still having them sit stagnant in my shower, but this is just, you'll have to smell it to understand. I did get this at Ulta, but I'm sure they have it at the actual body shop, and it was only $8. I say only $8, and I know some of you would be like, excuse me, but... My real favorite shower gel in the world is like 20 bucks by Soap and Glory. Speaking of fragrances, I have talked about this one in the past, and I don't know what it is. I'm miraculously able to wear fragrances again. I don't know if I had a small bout with issues with fragrance, but, but this is something that my mom and grandmother wore when I was a little girl, and it always smelled like good, happy, comfort, and warmth to me. And it is a very fall fragrance if it's something that you'd only wear one time of year. It is Calvin Klein Obsession and I know that this is super old school and you're like Carissa what's with that bottle that would fit up your nose? Well it's actually a little intense and I know that the majority of the population wouldn't appreciate it so I only wear a very tiny amount. That being said the times that I do wear it I get a lot of compliments and this little bottle I've had for years like at least four years. So having a small bottle of it helps me not want to spray it five times. I don't know, I could see how people would think this smells like an old lady perfume, but I love it. I think it is just, it's aptly named, that's for sure. <laughs> On to more smells. I have a confession. I don't really like pumpkin pie. I can appreciate it if it's well made but it's not my favorite thing. I'd rather have pecan pie. Pecan? Pe pe pecan? 
or apple, really basically any other pie I'd rather have than pumpkin. However, I walked by this in Target and I was like, what was that smell? That smelled awesome. And there was a display of fall glade scents. There was one that was scented like library, it was called. I don't know. It was $2.99 for this little pack of six wax tarts. And I know how lazy am I and how embarrassing, but I am so in love with the fact that these are separate and I don't have to break them apart like you do with Scentsy. Oh, the smell! Okay. Okay. It does smell like pumpkin pie, but so much more. It's like you can smell like French vanilla whipped cream and like maybe there's even like a walnut crust on it or something. Do people do that? Is that what I'm smelling? Am I making things up? I actually was afraid that these would sell out really quickly, so the next time I went to Target, I got another pack. I normally go through wax tarts a lot more quickly because the fragrance dissipates so fast, but these barely have to be replaced after many, many hours of melting them. So this, if you like pumpkin pie, get on this, Target. I mean, other places at Salt Glade probably have it, but my grocery store didn't, and they do Salt Glade, so... I have shamefully not edited a video that is really old and I'm about to talk about the product right now. But this is probably the most perfect fall color nail polish that could possibly exist. This is the L'Oreal, what is this, the Extraordinaire Gel Polish System. It's that gel polish type thing that doesn't have to be cured with a lamp and it removes easily with nail polish remover. And, spoiler alert, this is my favorite drugstore version of that type of polish. This is color 716 Decadent Indulgence. I say spoiler alert because I know this video is going to go up first because I'm more excited about it. Is that, that's rude, huh? That's rude. I had a recent love affair with the color Penny Talk by Essie. This is just this coppery, slightly rose gold, beautiful, like, look at that. I don't need to say anything more about that. And speaking of Essie Polish, you may have liked the color Wicked that I showed you in my first My Nails Now video. And I got a lot of compliments on this. This is a jelly type finish polish, which goes on really smooth and beautifully. But if you want a longer wearing version of it, which I did, I ended up picking up the Formula X um, color in Obsessed, which is pretty much the same exact thing, but this is going to last so much longer because sadly this one chips super quickly, even with like the bulletproof layers of Sush V that I put on top of it. I Seriously, I put like three layers on top. I really love this all year, but I tend to wear it more often in the fall. It is the color Perfection, which is kind of like if you're familiar with Chinchilli, um, it's that sort of you know, indescribable, purpley, grayish, beige. It's it's great. I've been shout have I been shouting? I feel like I've been shouting. I'm much more of a tea person than a coffee person. I'm not a tea person at all, but I have been drinking coffee lately. I also normally don't care for flavored coffee. I'd rather have a flavored creamer. Honestly, I saw this on an end cap at Target. It was an impulse buy because if you bought two boxes, you got a five dollar, you know, like gift card back. And I thought, Mike would like that flavor, but I've been drinking it just as much as he has. This is the actual Keurig brand. It's the Donut Shop Nutty Caramel. It's supposed to be, I think, like a hazelnut almond blend flavor with a little bit of caramel. And I just put, I don't like sugar in my coffee, but I put a ton of cream in with this, and it really brings out the flavor. And if you wanted to do a nut milk, I think that that would complement it even better, like an almond milk. Blushes. I have changed the way I wear my blush. I don't know if anybody has noticed. Uh, if you think it looks worse, please let me know. But I have changed the way I wear blush, and I like it better. So, but still, tell me if you don't like it. And yeah, right now it might look like I've got too much on. And it's because I layered it stupidly, but just so you know. My favorite blush last year for fall was this color in Amber by NYX. I love NYX blushes. And this year, what I have on my face today, I have a feeling this is what I'm going to want to put on every single day. The pigment is really rich in it, and it's easy to overdo it. This is Sin by NARS, and 
it's a super deep like muddy plum color and I think honestly that the lighting in here is making it look much less intense than it actually is but if you're in a Sephora and you look at the blushes and you see this in person you might be like whoa that's kind of dark for someone as pale as you are Carissa what's wrong with you this is terracotta by NYX and it's got a little bit of a pearly tone to it and it's a little bit orangey it's terracotta color and since I swatched the other ones I will swatch amber for you and lastly lip colors I saved my favorite for last for glosses this is um, buxom and Cur Royale see you can really sheer that out but it's a really nice berry color it looks scarier in the tube than it is it's much less brown on than it looks like it would be in the tube this is the NYX butter gloss in tiramisu I always feel like I'm saying that wrong and this is another one that looks really nice alone but I like to put it over lipstick this is the MAC cream sheen in the color modesty and this is a fantastic everyday color. This is just brown enough. I think most women could get away with wearing that. Um, just brown enough to enhance your own lip color because mine can be a little bit dark naturally for some of the more nude lipsticks. So that actually still shows up and looks like I have lipstick on. This, I believe, is a limited edition. I think it's just a fall color. I'm pretty sure this isn't part of the normal line, but this is the Wet n Wild Coming in Latte. I think that's supposed to be a play on words like coming in late, but sorry guys, that doesn't work. And that's a nice, sp I don't know why I put so much on. That's a nice spice colored like cinnamon lip color. And honestly, these Wet n Wild lipsticks... I like them a lot. They're like $2. This is what I'm wearing today. This is a Maybelline 950 Untainted Spice. <laughs> also a name that I'm not a huge fan of. But this is an easy to wear spice color. This is an easy to wear cinnamon. Um, it's not exactly matte. It's not matte at all, is it? Um, goes on really nice. Wears really well. No fuss, you know? Not too red that it makes my corn tooth look like a corn tooth, you know? Lastly, I wore this lipstick in my Makeup on a Mission video, and I did have some questions about it, so I just wanted to let you know that this is also, I can tell, going to be one of my favorite colors this year. Um, this is $6.95 Maybelline Divine Wine. This is part of the new matte line. That also, turns out, looks really nice with this buxom gloss over it too. Please let me know what your favorite beauty products and just fall things in general are. Tell me all about how much you love pumpkin pie. I know, I know, I know. All right guys, thanks for watching.